Since its founding, Texas has always had a wild side. From the open ranges to the blue skies, that free spirit flows through our state and our people. In Merkel, the aura of the Old West is alive and well, with buildings that take you back in time, and a few cowboys with unexpected talents. It was 1986, the state of Texas mandated a gifted and talented program, but the state of Texas didn't tell them how to do it. So my boss said, would you be willing to do this? I said, oh my God, yes. First thing I adopted was teaching chess. And I'm telling you, it is the most fantastic teaching tool. All the skills that you learn in chess apply to everything else. Then I discovered uh, juggling. And it was even better than chess in that you needed to be standing up to do it. I've had a lot of students tell me the most important thing they learned to, to do in my class was to juggle. Because they still juggle today, I still juggle. If I go on vacation for a few weeks and I don't do it, my brain goes to mush. When you juggle, you uh, cannot be handed. Both hands have to work equally. So I'm convinced that uh, it forces your brain to cooperate. I believe that it makes me a better artist. This is, is uh, Gregory Peck and Jennifer Jones from Duel in the Sun. And of Willie course we know oh, Willie, everybody I, I knows guess. Willie. Well, whoever you think it is. And, we know uh, who this is, but... Who is that? I don't know who that is. <laughs> well, is, is this not John Wayne? No, that's Gary Cooper. Oh, Gary Cooper it is. Yeah, now Obron. that you say it. But remember, I told you, Picasso said it's whoever you think it is. So, that's right, yeah. so it could be. It could be, yeah. So it's whoever I think it, it is. It's okay. whoever you well, think it is. this is me. Yeah, I, I like that. That is you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just yes, definitely you. That's right. This retired West Texas teacher turned juggler is actually an artist. And when Chuck Roach has his creativity in the right state of mind, he sets down his pins and balls and sets up his easels and oils. How did you get into the art that you have now, the portraits? Okay, um, shortly after I started teaching, the art teacher, she brings this, this book, which you've probably heard of, called Drawing on the Right Side of the Brain. Mm -hmm. I read this book, I did the exercises, and within six months, I was practicing on my students. So that was the beginning. I noticed in your portraits, you have lines. Yes, Explain yes. the lines and okay, okay. Are there e meaning. Everybody asks that question. <laughs> uh, the best answer I can give you, it, it pleases my brain in some way. I prefer abstraction. So I had to find some way of creating something that my customers would buy that I wanted to create. Who are your customers? I sell art to rednecks. That, generally speaking, that, that's my customer base. Believe it or not, I've got about 2,500 former students, and the oldest ones are in their 50s. So I would say about 25 to 30 percent of what I sell is to former students. Chuck's work is a mixture of realism and the abstract, a combination that has become his calling card in the art world. Many of his portraits are of his students from years of teaching high school, along with the occasional Texas legend. And as we perused his art gallery, known as Loose Latigo, Chuck brought us over to a portrait that we just had to see. Okay, have, have y'all ever heard of John Singer Sargent? Yes. Okay, Sargent said a portrait is a painting with something wrong with the mouth. <laughs> okay. So no matter how good it is, somebody's gonna find something wrong with it. <gasps> oh. oh my gosh, <laughs> that's us. Wow. <laughs> I love it. Is, is something wrong with the mouth? 
No. <laughs> I don't see anything wrong with it. It's not every day you meet a juggler who just happens to be an artist. And we have to admit, there's nothing like having your image saved forever by the whimsical lines and broad strokes of Chuck Roach's unique style. One that he says was created for a very simple reason, because it makes him happy. What is art to you? Oh, I don't know. It's just uh, a mental exercise and it just pleases my brain in some way. It's, I just enjoy doing it. It's just a super pleasant place to work. But, y'all, I, 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 I don't work real hard. I come up here at 8.30 in the morning and by 11, um, I leave and go to town, sit at Starbucks and read my book for a while and then go, go to the gym. And uh, so if I can come up here and put in two and a half or three hours a day, oh my God, I can knock out so much work. You would be amazed, yes. Two and a half hours a, a day. You're happy. That, that's fine, yeah. I've had all the war I want and I'm ready to do something else, yeah. I want that. Uh, yes, <laughs> it's a perfect job, I swear. It couldn't get any better.